Hello. Got my kombucha because this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long one. So I'm gonna wait for some of you to hop on. And I wanted to dive deep and actually get to the root of some things so that way we can make some major changes this year. Okay. So I'm gonna wait for some of you guys to hop on. This is, oh, I didn't even put what it's gonna be about. Um, let me see, can I still do that? It's okay, let me see, live intro. Uh, welcome to my live. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't think I can. Let me see. I'm just playing with all the different. Let me see, flip camera, pause mirror, live intro. Let me see if I could pin a comment. Okay, anyway, we're just gonna make it do what it do. Okay, so this is gonna be a live training session. Okay, so we're gonna dive deep. All right, so if you're not into a training session, if you're trying to just like be on someone's live to um, like for fun, I mean, I guess this could be fun, but this is gonna be a training session on how to really dig into why you are not staying committed to your health, your fitness, and just whatever goals that you do have for yourself, really digging in deep, okay? So the biggest thing that we're gonna talk about, so I'm giving you a chance. Again, I'm popping on here. Um, and, and I won't be taking any kind of um, live calls. This is gonna be a training session for those who want to dig into habit building, okay? So dig into habit building. Um, so I do have my kombucha. All right. So I'll wait for a couple more people to hop on. Hello, I hope everyone is having a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful day. Okay. So, like I said, this is going to be about digging into our habit building, digging into why we are not executing on things that we want to execute on. And... First and foremost, this is going to be surrounded about or surrounded around courage, okay, versus confidence. Courage versus com confidence, okay? So I'm just going to, hello, hello, hello. I'm going to wait for a couple other people to hop on. Make sure I don't move this too much. Okay, so... Like I said, this is going to be about digging in deep. So last chance to hop off. This is not going to be any kind of like funny stuff or, you know, people cracking jokes and things like that. I really want to um, dive in deep with you guys. So if you guys want to learn how to build your habits, if you want to dig in deep, if you want to really do some inner work and some inner healing for yourself as to why you um, are just struggling with like hitting any of your any goals that you might want to be digging into, this is, you popped into the right life. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to compare what courage versus confidence means. So when it comes to health and fitness, what I'll often hear is people saying, well, I don't know how to work out, or every time I work out, I don't see results, or every time I try to eat healthy, I don't see any results. Um, Every time I try to eat healthy, um, I seem to fall off. Every time I try to eat healthy, I feel like I'm not living life. Every time I try to work out, I don't know what to do with the gym. So we have to start digging into our courage more when it comes to this journey, okay? We have to start digging into our courage a lot more. We have to have the courage to understand that we are not going to know how to do we're not going to just automatically be confident you get confident with doing 
the same thing over a long period of time. That's confidence. That's how you gain confidence. But you gain the courage, you, you muster up the courage to commit to that. Okay, so that's the difference. All right, that's the difference. So we're doing courage versus confidence. All right. So <clears throat> if you're struggling with the courage, we really want to dig into why. So if you guys are feeling me right now, I'm going to give you guys a chance to respond really, really quickly. Do you guys struggle with courage? And if so, why? As you guys are answering that, what I want to dig into with courage is sometimes we feel like, you know what? A lot of times our health and fitness goals are not necessarily they don't have the best intentions behind them. Like sometimes we're like, well, we just want to keep up with the Instagram models where we just want to, you know, hurry up and get snatched because we want to be on a yacht with a bunch of guys. We want to hurry up and get snatched because I want to, I hope that this guy likes me. We want to hurry up and get snack or snatched because um, the girls aren't going to look at me because, you know, I don't really have that much money and I'm already not in shape. So let me at least get it. Like whatever, whatever the situation is, Okay, whatever the situation is, sometimes the reason why we fall off on our fitness journey is because we're not really going into the fitness journey with the best of intentions. It has to be deeper than that. You're not going to stay in shape. You're not or you're not going to stay um wanting like having the the wherewithal and the willpower to stay on your on track with your goals, if it's just to look good. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. What I've learned in my, I'm gonna be 37 in two weeks, okay? I'm gonna be 37 years old in two weeks. So I, I'm not like a super elder, but I've been around and have um, accumulated enough wisdom to understand how this process goes when it comes to health and fitness, especially for women, um, men too, but especially, for women, right? If it's just to look good, you're not going to keep up with it because there's just going to be those days where you're like, I just don't care. Like you just don't feel good for the day. Or maybe you got in a fight with somebody at work, or maybe somebody cut you off while you're driving, or maybe somebody just passed away, or maybe, um, you know, somebody you got either got sick or somebody else got sick around you and you're caring for them. Like there's just going to be reasons why that, we just don't want to keep up with like having to look good. So it's got to be deeper when it comes to the health and fitness journey. It can't just be about wanting to look good. So I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Thank you guys for the, the compliments. Okay. So, um, I just want to say that I just want to start off with that. All right. Let me see your question. Do you agree? Ladies don't like men, which are too nice. Um, it depends. It depends. It depends on, that's a very layered question because there are women that do like nice guys, but a lot of times the nice guys will go after the women that like the bad boys. So I think that there is a big disconnect when it comes to the right type of guys and the right type of women um, finding a compatibility. So there's women out there that are like, I want a nice guy, I want a nice guy, but then they go after the bad boys. And then there's men that are really nice that are like, I can't find any women, but then they're going after the type of women that are, you know, you have to like look at the environment that you're in. Like if you're in a club environment, more than likely you're not going to like wow people with your niceness. Like in that environment, people are looking to have a good time. People are looking for status. People are looking for a certain kind of thing. Now, if you go to a really nice charity event, and there's other women, like-minded women there, right? And they're probably going to be more open with like, okay, he's nice, right? Because the environment, you guys can have a, you know, it's set up for success. You can have a nice conversation. They can hear what you're saying. So we just, it's a very layered question. I think that, that there's many, um, there's many scenarios where nice guys do finish last. And then there's many scenarios where nice guys finish really well when they're going after the right type of woman. So if you're looking for the Instagram model, 
most of the time, the probability is very low that you're going to be able to wow them with your niceness. But if you are um, going for the, a really pretty girl that works at the bank and you are showering her with, with kindness, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it just depends on the environment. It depends on who you're going after. It, it depends on, um, you know, all that. I'm just going to say, always just stay true to yourself. Don't ever try to, meta, you know, transform into something just to try to win a, the opposite sex over. That doesn't work either because once you start um, being fake, it's going to shine through. You're not going to be able to keep up that act for too long. Nice guys get taken advantage of. Well, um, I agree with that. Yes and no. I think that some guys um, also need to have more discernment. I think that if they're getting taken advantage of, there's usually red flags, right? There's usually red flags. Like you can usually tell when you're being taken advantage of. And if you're just so clueless, then you might want to, if you're, if, if, if you're referring to yourself, I'm not sure if you're referring to yourself. But if you are referring to yourself, then and we're going to go back to the main topic, which is, I mean, it's fine if it's, you know, just a, a question. Uh, it could be open question too, but I also might throw in um, my, my topic as well because I think it's important because it, as you guys can see, if you follow me, you can see that I'm really big on health and fitness. And it, that also bleeds into your confidence when it comes to dealing with women or dealing with men when you are happy, fit, and healthy. I'm not saying that you need to look a certain way because fit and healthy looks different on many different people, right? So it has nothing to do with an ideal look. It just means if you are happy and fit for you and at your optimal health for you, okay? So, um, let me read your other. No, I would not do that. No, I would not um, accept a first date there. So, um, so yeah, any other questions? <laughs> a seasoned tender. <laughs> That's a funny one. Um, most women like guys who do them bad. Terrible, they love that. Um. You know, in some scenarios, yes. In some scenarios, no. You know, some women are dating guys and they have to build up their discernment as well. I don't know if they necessarily like to be treated bad. I think that the discernment is really low. And so they often end up getting treated bad and they're thinking it's, oh, well, what did I do wrong? And then they continue to um, participate. I don't think that they go in... In my opinion, I don't think that they go into it saying, "Ooh, I can't wait to be treated bad." I don't I don't I don't think that that's typically what most women are doing, but then maybe there's some that like that thrill, and that's for them. You know, everybody's learning through their own experiences, and some people have to learn the hard way, some people don't. Some people may just like to casually date and um and they're going after guys that they subconsciously know that they won't be in a serious relationship with. So it, it just, it's very layered. I think that, um, I think that these podcasts and these, and even these kinds of things, I think that, um, I'm really big on like where the elders at, like, where are the older people that are married and have a successful relationship that you like, that you, that you, um, look up to and get advice from them. I think that like, singles, people that are single, people that are dating, giving dating and single advice on relationship it, on relationships is not very, it's not smart. So that's my opinion on that. So I'm not going to really get too spicy or like lean one way or the other, because I think it's very layered. I think it's um, where you come from, what you've been through, um, how you view relationships, how your upbringing was. Um, you know, some people are very naive. Some people aren't. Some people are going into dating very damaged. Some people aren't. Some um, men are going after women that they can use. Some women are going after men that they can use. And I just think that like, there's just like this mix of so many different um, 
scenarios and then depending on your your experience and your scenarios if you've had the same consistent scenario but then somebody else is like well that's not my reality and then people just keep going like back and forth and it just we're not getting anywhere right so women like guys who pay their bill not not all but most um i would agree i would agree i think that and and to be honest they're um you know to be honest there's actually men like there's men that actually really enjoy that like they enjoy being more of the provider type i'm not talking about rich it doesn't you can still be a provider type of guy where you're like i really want to treat a girl but you don't have to necessarily be rich they, they just have the energy of like i would really like to show that i i have the ability to like take care of a girl and like show her a good time and things like that so I think that there's men that enjoy paying and I think that there's women that enjoy receiving and I think that it's been done like that for for many eons and, and we're in this like new era where some women like 50 50 some men like 50 50 some women still want to be taken care of some men now want to get taken care of it just it just depends on what you like you have to really sit with yourself and and figure out okay like what what do I like <laughs> right like it shouldn't be what a celebrity does or what your favorite Instagram influencer does or your favorite TikToker or your you need to really sit with yourself and figure out what you like and then go on quality dates and then gather information <laughs> and see what you like and what you don't like and then do you even want to be in a relationship so I mean it could go so many different ways um, when you're nice you only get taken advantage of then they want to stay laying hands on you yeah, I don't I don't really have a comment about that. What's the oldest and youngest I would date? Um I would date I would date any age older. I mean I wouldn't I I, I can't see myself dating a 70 year old, but I would date like my age and older so that there's no cap there but obviously there's a cap going younger i wouldn't i probably wouldn't date um below like 26 or 27 and that's only and and, and i'm not saying you know who knows but i think that that's where you know there's been enough life experience to say okay you know there's some maturity that gets to get built up right like I would I have no I, I would have no desire to date a 22 year old I would have no desire to do that I enjoy women who are interested in art museums traveling yeah that's awesome that's that's amazing that's that's where you know and typically women that like that as well they're they usually like nice guys So that's the biggest thing, guys, um, you know, when it comes to, again, health and fitness. Also, too, really quick, just since I have you guys on here, I do have an ebook that is out right now. It's called How to Lose Belly Fat. Ladies and fellas, don't wait till the summer. Don't wait till the summer to try to lose weight. It's a really easy um, to follow ebook guide. Click the link in my bio. The only reason why I, I wrote it was because it's stuff that I do. And I would have other women do it that would say, hey, you know, how do you stay in shape? Um, you know, how do you keep it together and, you know, stay youthful and, you know, vibrant and all that stuff. And it's all in the ebook. It's all in the ebook. And so um, I started giving them my ideas and they were like, oh my gosh, this actually works. So I was like, okay, let me just put it in the ebook and share it with everybody. So. Um, do I like nice guys? Yes, I do. But, uh, you know, I'll be honest. I think I like more kind guys. If I had to pick one, I think I like kindness. I think I like to see how the, the, the man treats other people. Um, of course, nice, you know, with like children and things like that. But if we have to define what nice is, you know, because that's like an array. Like if 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 someone's saying, well oh, someone doesn't like a nice guy, but then they're actually like, 
kind of a pushover. No, I don't like, I don't really care to be with a pushover kind of man. Um, because I wouldn't, if I like, I think about things like this, like my, for my brothers, like would I just enjoy seeing my brothers being pushed over? I would say, look, before you continue to date anymore, we got to get you um, some books to read. We got to do some inner work. We got to get you to journal a little bit. We got to get you together because it's, it's, um, so if that's what we're like, what, what does nice actually mean? Right? Like, what is that? What does that mean? Because Yes, I don't I don't think anyone is going to sit there and say like, well, I wouldn't at least um I don't like nice guys. Yeah, I absolutely like nice guys. I absolutely like nice guys. Um So if you can define what you mean by nice, like what your opinion is of nice, then yes, we can I can better answer that. Yes, intermittent fasting. That's definitely in my book. Again, I'm going to be 37 in two weeks. My birthday is in two weeks. I'll be 37. And I've been able to stay youthful and vibrant and, um, you know, just have a lot of vitality and just like, you know, like not like fall off or whatever. And a lot of the stuff that I do, it's in my book. So again, click the link in the bio. It's the first link there. I highly, highly suggest you get it. A lot of the women that have gotten it have had, had, um, have had great results. It's not, it's, it's like, if you look at my TikTok, like I work out every, almost every day. I'm constantly posting stuff on my Instagram with what I eat. Um, I do have a subscription and really am active over there too. If you want to really dig into my life on what I eat, but I'm always sharing things like that. <laughs> that's a, that's a funny one. I'm a Tinder. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah. So if you're saying, if you're saying, okay, well, okay. So you just said, um, DP, DPP six, five, two nice could be weak. Then I don't, I mean, I don't think humans really gravitate toward weak. Right? Like, I just think like in our DNA, like just how we, how we operate and how we usually gravitate toward each other. It's like, think about like when you're, when you're a kid, and everybody's picking teams, guys, boys and girls, like seven, a bunch of seven and eight year olds who are not caring about boyfriend and girlfriend. Like they, they still are like ickied out and they're going to play kickball. They're not going to pick the weak link. Like, right. Like they're going to kind of, okay. So little Ashley, she runs really fast. Bobby, he kicks the ball really hard. Um, Mikey usually just is zoned out. I'm not going to pick him. You know what I'm saying? So I think like in human nature, I think that if you're saying nice equals weak, then I don't think most people would want to be, would gravitate toward a weak person or, or care to date a weak person. If you're weak, I, I think that you actually shouldn't be dating yet. I think that you should do some inner work, get it together and, um, not be dating while you're, while you feel like you're, you're weak. Like that doesn't, that doesn't align. Thank you guys for the compliments and hello from new orleans i also saw baltimore in here i appreciate you guys tapping in with me what type of men do i attract um i believe i i've i've attracted all kinds all kinds <laughs> from all walks of life all ages um in different industries what's up from atlanta um Do opposites attract? It depends. It depends on your lens. It depends on where, how you view life. Um, in some ways, I believe yes. And in some ways, I believe no. I don't think there's really um, any, any like rules. Like, okay, so if you, you know, if you are this type of person, then this is what you only can attract. If you're this kind of person, I, I believe you just, you attract what you believe that you can attract. So if you're somebody that's sporty, well, that doesn't mean I want to attract somebody that's like opposite from me who's not sporty. I want to like, you know, I would enjoy someone that like likes to work out, likes to be active. So I would actually want to like 
do the like attra attracts like, right? <laughs> That's what I would rather do. Um, I think that, the, but then I think there's synergy. Like if you're talking about feminine versus masculine, like uh, I think it's good when a, when a, when an, ind when I'm not going to debate about <laughs> like anything that has to do with like what you identify with. But somebody, I think that one individual in the relationship needs to identify with more of the feminine aspect and the other individual needs to identify with more of the masculine. And I think that they're, so the opposites in that way end up attracting to each other. And I think that that's a really good synergy. But, um, so it just depends, again, like, I feel like things are very layered, in my opinion. So... anyone oopsie so yeah guys um also too while I have you guys on as you guys since um, you guys want to talk about relationships we can do that that's fine I'm okay with that I'll give you I mean I'm definitely not a relationship expert I am not um, but you know based on my my experience, I can give you guys like, this is not advice I would tell you to take, but if you're just curious about my thoughts, then I'll, I'll I have no problem sharing them. But really quick guys, also I am gonna be coming out with, um, everybody has an ebook inside of them, by the way. I think everybody, oh, Tulum, what up? Um. I think everybody has an ebook inside of them. So whatever you guys like to do, whether it's cooking, working on cars, dancing, you're a video gamer, whatever it is, if you are constantly teaching someone something or you are the go-to for that thing, or everybody's always hitting you up like, oh, so-and-so knows what's up with that, or so-and-so has a connects for that, or so-and-so um, you know, has a process for that, you have an ebook. So I created my ebook from scratch, completely from scratch, and it's up and, and being sold now. People are having great results from it. And I also, when I did my own ebook, I was like, I think everybody should have an ebook. Like we always talk about different ways to come up with passive income. Um, there's people that I know that have popped out ebooks within a weekend. So I'm gonna be coming out with a mini course um, on exactly what to do. Like once you once you get the course, by the end of the course, you'll have an ebook up and running and, and people can press buy on it. It's not gonna be like a fluffy, like, oh, well, yeah, here's how you do it and like use this program and this is what you gotta do. And no, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel like I'm sitting right next to you. Like, okay, sit right here. Like, okay, well, I have my, my iPad. Okay, here, here you go. Step number one, go here. Da, 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 da. Step number two, okay, what do you wanna write about? write out let's do a brain dump let's do brainstorming okay we're gonna now we're gonna download this this particular um platform that's gonna help you write the ebook okay now we got to learn how to work now let's spend an hour or two playing around with the software on how to make the ebook so so that's how it's gonna be so definitely check out that let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that um but i definitely will be doing more lives talking about that i think everybody has an ebook inside of them so it's starting to get kind of dark. I need to turn on my light. Let me see. Um, oh man. There we go. Got some light there. Yeah, I mean you're gonna have to brainstorm on what you wanna what you wanna talk about in your ebook. The ebook can be 15, 20 pages long, charge eight bucks. Boom, now you have passive income coming in. If you're known for, like, what are you guys known for? Let me know. Let me know. Like with me, a lot of my people would always hit me up and say, hey, you know, uh, how do you do this? Or what do you do for this workout? Or what do you do to like, you know, keep your arms like looking like tone, right? Like, what do you do to keep this area looking tone? What do you do to, um, you know, just kind of like keep it together? Not necessarily be a bodybuilder, because like not everybody wants to be a bodybuilder. So the girls, 
that I went to high school and college with, they hit me up. I'm located in Los Angeles, California. Um, they would hit me up and I would tell them what, what I would do and then it was working for them. So I decided to put an ebook and now I'm sharing it with everybody. Right? So I think that once I did it, I was like, whoa, everybody needs an ebook. I think everybody should have an ebook. So definitely tap in with that. Follow me. Like be like, like if you're if you're on here right now and you're not following me, follow me because you might really want to tap in with learning how to make an ebook when I drop it. And for the first um, couple of days when I drop the the little mini course, it'll be like twenty five percent off, maybe maybe like thirty five percent off. I'm not sure, but it'll be a very very realistic price. Basically, once you get the the course, it will you will have um, made your money back from selling your book. All right. So any other... I might actually hop off and then hop back on because I just, I need, I need to make a phone call really quickly. But again, um, if you are not following me, make sure you follow your girl. Um, and we're going to, you know, this is this is quality. If you want to like level up, if you want to bounce ideas off of each other, if you want to um, get your life together, if you want to know how you could be 37 years old and still be vibrant and, you know, positive and just because it has a lot to do with your mindset. If you want to you know, be healthy as you age. Every, we're all going to age, but it doesn't mean you have to fall off while you're aging, right? Like it's just, it's part of life, but there's ways and tactics that we can, um, things that we can do to age the best way that we can. All right. Okay, any other questions before I hop off? I might hop back on in like five or 10 minutes. Let's see if there's any other questions, Mike. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. I may hop, hop back on um, and go back to my topic. I might really make it strictly about my topic. Um, let's share a big salad. <laughs> yeah, I love salad. I love salad. Also, too, there's been a few of you um, that have been really kind and just like wanted to, because um, I know that I've helped some people figure out some things on my last, my last lives. Um, also, when you click on my link tree, um, there's like a little link for buy me a coffee. So if you're like, oh, like, how do I, you know, just like show my gratitude for like you helping me out on a live, just you, you can go over to that and you can either buy my ebook to just show support, even if you don't want to lose belly fat, or you can um, press the, the little, it's like a little, um, let's just say buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee or tea, and you can do that. All right. I usually go, I try to go on is, um, I'm trying to go on daily. I'm trying to go on daily. So definitely make sure you follow me so you can tap in with my lives and, um, also write in the comments or DM me with things that you guys want to also hear about and talk about. I'm really big on health and fitness and mindfulness, right? So yeah, I guess dating and things like that come in, come in there in that arena with like mindfulness, but I'm not really, I'm not a dating coach. I'm not a anything like that. You can look at me more like a life coach in, in regard to like helping you build um, better habits to get you on a healthier lifestyle and a healthier track. All right. Okay. I will go ahead and hop off and I will tap in with you guys soon. Bye.